That's a great question. What's a good a professional way to start and end a presentation? Well, there are so many things you can do. To I'll try to keep this as brief as possible, Mimiko. Now, the way to start a presentation, what you want to do, the objective there is to capture your audience's attention. You want to hook them. You need to capture their attention. How can you do that? Well, for example, you could start, now I started with an analogy. If you remember, I think you joined a bit late, I don't know, but I started with the analogy of, I said a presentation is an opportunity to make a, a great first impression. And I showed a slide with, with two people on a first date. Presentation is like a first date. That was my way to try and capture your attention. So you could use an analogy. You could start by asking an interesting and intriguing question. You could use an, an, an unusual fact, like, did you know that, of course, depending on what your topic is. Hmm? So there are so many things you can do, but you want to capture the audience's attention. And I recommend that you spend, I would say, no more than 5% of the total presentation time on your introduction. Now, similarly, the same strategies apply to the conclusion as well. One thing that we discussed today, which is very relevant to a conclusion, is the what, so what, what next approach. Mm? If you joined on, th on time, we talked about what, what do you want your audience to remember, what's the one thing they really need to take away from your presentation, so what, why should they care, again, remind them why this is important to them, and then what next? What do you want them to do after your presentation? If you prepare a paragraph, a 70 word paragraph, 30 seconds, following that format, that becomes your conclusion. Why not? That's a very effective punchline for you.